this message must come out clearly. And that is what Kenya should be. After all, if somebody is seeking the presidency, are you going to tell me that you will decide to campaign in one section of the country and not the other? It's not possible. You do not seek to be a sectional president. You'd be seeking to be a president of the entire republic. So we must, as a nation, move away from being cocooned or being put into some corner of loyalty pledges where barometers are there but loyalty pledges are being demanded before you gain service. Loyalty pledges are being demanded before you get a job. Loyalty pledges are being demanded before you get food relief. Loyalty pledges are being demanded before you get your tax certificate. Loyalty pledges are being demanded from our young people in circumstances that are difficult when they know very well those are young people who don't have the requisite experience but they want to start off. But you find it's as if there's a new qualification in this country that is being called a loyalty pledge. We must move away from that. Mm. All Kenyans are equal. Correct. All Kenyans are equal under the law, mm. and they must be supported. And where there are logical amendments, even in the Constitution, we stand to study the logic behind the proposals and then to make up our mind in such circumstances. That should be it. If, for instance, right now, somebody is asking you, are you for the constitutional amendment or not? And you have not even seen it. Yes, you don't even know it's being amended. <laughs> Assuming they are bringing a constitutional amendment here that says that if you are caught stealing, your hand will be amputated. Would you support it? Will you support it? <laughs> so we must be very clear where we're going. Mm. We must have a nation of rational people, rational individuals. That is what we want. The 48 million people in this country, I believe, are rational. So let, no, let us not put things, push things down their throat. And that is why we stand here in solidarity, to say, let institutions function. Let political parties function. And we reiterate that the leadership of Ford Kenya resides in the party Ford Kenya, and they have given it to Moses Masika Wetangula. That is how it is. So, all these other shenanigans, <laughs> yeah, and I want to remind you, please go back and read that famous quote in 1946 of uh, the gentleman called Martin uh, Nemla? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Mula. Nemula. Nemula. Martin Nemula. <coughs> the famous one about the socialists and he said nothing when they came for them, and so forth. Just go back to it and look at it. So you there, you keep on saying that hiyo ni shida ya wetangula, hiyo ni shida ya musalia, hiyo ni shida ya nani, hiyo ni shida ya nani. My friend, if we don't stand together, utokio kisema shida yako imekufikia, na kwa sababu wea hukuzumuza kwa niaba yuengine wakati ule. Nobody will speak for you. Yeah. Asante ni sana. Muende vizu. Thank you very much. It is as clear as it was. Just that.